Hey there, Chad here with another episode of Kerbal Space Program in 2021. In this particular episode, I had some trouble deciding what to do, and we're not quite ready to go to the moon or to Minmus. There's a few more parts we need, but I don't have enough science points to take care of that yet. So I decided what I'll do is pick up a couple of real simple observation missions, show how those can work, show a little bit about how the nav ball works, and then after that, try to do some science farming with a little makeshift rover that can go around the Space Center and hit some of the high points there to, to grab some science. If you look at this, this is the tracking station, and these are the available missions that are observational. Now, I've mentioned before, I don't really care for these. Some of them can be complicated to get to or to do, but it's hard to miss this. There's two right next to each other, just a little north and west of the Space Center. So I'm looking at the names of those. Um, it's LS0 is one of them, and the other one is Genegus's Discovery. Both of them are wanting us to be at an altitude below, this one 19.4 kilometers, this one below 18 kilometers. So being below is a lot easier than being above as far as targeting these. So those are, those are good candidates. I'm going to go to Mission Control and I'm going to pick those up. I'm going to pick up both of those missions. If you look through here, the only really solid mission we have is Explore the Moon, and I'm not quite ready for that yet. The test flights, the things to test different pieces of equipment or to haul them, these are all a little more complicated right now. And I was looking at these, you know, this one wants us to be at a speed of 40 meters per second at an altitude of 11,000 and above up to 15,000 meters. Um, that, that can be hard to do in a rocket. Now, if we had a plane to build, and I don't yet, at least not a good one, this could be difficult to do. So instead, I'm gonna do a couple of these observational ones. Uh, the first one was at LS0, here's that one, I'll select it. And the other one, I think, is this one. Yep, there we go. So I'm gonna grab that one. So I have two missions, and I could grab up to seven. Again, with the exception of Explore the Moon, the rest of them aren't terribly exciting. I guess I can go ahead and grab it. Uh, once we do it, it will pay off really well. That's, that's kind of nice. The other thing I'm probably gonna do in the near future is some of these tourists, because they tend to pay pretty well. And I will need to use money to upgrade the runway, the uh, vehicle assembly building eventually as well. So let's go ahead and build a real simple rocket here. It's gonna have no major frills on it. I'm gonna put a parachute on it. It will have a simple separator here. I'll use the bigger fuel and I'm going to use the swivel engine. It gives me a little bit of vectoring. I do want to put some fins on that to help control it. I want to put four of those. Uh, I think, let's see, right there. One, two, three, four. So I have four of those. I will put a couple of science experiments on this. This really isn't meant to be a heavy duty science mission, but if I can get a few points, I need like six points to get another node of uh, research done. That will be kind of nice uh, moving forward. So I'm going to put this here and this here. So thermometer, pressure, goo. Uh, then I'm going to use some solid rocket boosters to get me where I'm going. Put them here and I'm going to use the, whoops, the medium sized one which is the hammer and we'll put one of those on each side we will fix the staging here you'll notice it's hammer separator engine we're gonna we want all those engines to fire at once okay straightforward enough that should get it done and we'll go out to the launch pad now the very first thing i'm going to do when i get to the launch pad is set a nav point that can be tracked on the on the nav ball. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to M. You'll notice those two missions are showing up on here. What you'll also notice is I can right click on it and I can do activate navigation. And that's pretty cool and here's why. I'm going to go ahead and go back to this view. Uh, I'm going to start my, what I normally do when I start up. 
hit that, this. I'm going to give it about a third throttle. I just want enough to steer initially. That's really all I want. So if you look at the nav ball, and it's kind of difficult to see, but there's this clipboard with a pen on here. And what that is, is that symbol right there. That's because we've locked this in as where we're navigating to. So it shows up on the nav ball. And basically, if we point at that, that'll take us to the point in space. Now, we don't actually want to go to this point. That point is at, I think, 18 kilometers or 19.4 kilometers, one of the two. But what I can do is line up with it, and it allows me to track to it better. Now, since I don't have the structures that kind of stabilize the rocket, I don't tend to use those unless I have to. There are times when your rocket will tilt and fall over. Um, I'm not having those problems now, so my rockets are just sitting on the engine bell. Probably not, you know, OSHA certified, but that's okay. The Kerbals are cool with it. Uh, what I can do, I can actually move the rocket a little bit using just the simple roll. And what I want to do is line this up so it's straight down from me. And I think it's at about, I'm going to say, call it 312 degrees, 300, we'll do 311. That probably looks good. So you notice that icon is now straight down. So when I, when I take off, what I will do immediately is nose over and start heading to the north and west a little bit uh, and head towards that nav point. Now, the requirements here are to take crew reports at these altitudes. Now, I'll have to do two. It is possible that if, if these are close enough together, and they are actually pretty close, you get, you get a pretty good window here for these. It doesn't have to be this spot right here. Uh, it'll, it'll be a good window. It is possible there could be a spot in here where I could do both of them at once just by running one crew report. I'm not going to count on that, uh, but if it comes up, that'll be great. Coming back over here, we're pretty much ready to go. What I want to do is open this window that has the crew report on it, and I'm going to lock it in over here so that I don't have to go digging for it when it comes up. Now, the way I'll know that it's I'm in the area is there will be a little message here that will say entering LS0 or Genghis's... Uh, discovery. Uh, it'll be a little text message. It's not terribly big. If you're not sure where it's going to show up, you could miss it if you're not looking right at it at the time. Uh, I am going to leave this science here now open uh, in case a couple of these pop up with bigger numbers, and I think they will. We'll grab some science as we go. We need about six points to get another node in the research tree, so hopefully we can find something on the way. I think we'll probably be going over another biome. That'll give us me the opportunity for a few more points there. So let's go ahead and launch. And I'm immediately nosing over to head in that direction. You'll notice this icon floats up. I could point right at it. I'm not going to right now. I'm going to kind of try to stay a little below it. And if I look over here, I'll see that my trajectory is growing in that direction. That's exactly what I want it to do. As long as we're pointing in that direction, we'll be in good shape. That was the engine slamming together behind me. One of them survived, it looks like. I am entering Genghis's Discovery. I'm going to hit that crew report. And I'm going to run it. And you'll notice one contract complete. Now I'm going to continue to fly the nav ball here. I'm going to come down a little bit. And now I'm entering Sector LS0. I'm going to run that again. And it's going to have, I have to overwrite it to do it again. But really, I just need to run the crew, the crew report. And I'm good to go. And there it is. I've run it. You'll notice that now it says that the second contract is complete. I have some science here I can do. I'm going to kill the engine for now. Run some science. Go ahead and do the mystery goo. Uh, I really don't have need to continue to go up. So really, I could kind of point this way and head back towards the base. Definitely not necessary. And there the fuel has exhausted. So go ahead and uh, put us in a retrograde 
position and we will gracefully fall back to the planet. I'm going to watch here to see if any more science pops up. I'm not sure that it will. Right now we're over the highlands. I think there might be some grasslands below us here pretty soon. And we're a little bit more aerodynamic than, than that, so we're well, now it's starting to catch up with us. It's going to start going a lot faster. I might get to see it slam into the ground below us. I'm going to go ahead and shoot. That'll start to increase drag. And there it's even with us, and now it is on its way down. We did just hear the sound there. That splash sound means that we changed biomes. I'm going to run the temperature. There it slammed down and part of it survived. And finally hit the ground again and it is finished off, which is really what we kind of wanted. Alright. So we're about 350 meters above the ground right now. I can close this out. I don't really need that anymore. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to that that other canister until touchdown uh, in case I could use it for more than a half a point there. I'm going to accelerate time as we approach the planet. When I get right down there I'll kill it. Uh, acceleration anyway. There we go. And we're going to touch down at 5.5 meters a second. And there are a couple of more experiments we can run for six more points. I'll do that. I'll do that. Even an EVA can uh, grab a few points. And Jeb will climb back in the capsule. Mission accomplished. He will recover. Good job, Jeb. Okay, 33 science points. That's not so bad. I'll be able to buy another node. Money refunded for parts was a pretty good percentage, 97%. Jep did not earn any more experience. I didn't expect that. I think we're going to have to touch down on another planet for him to gain any more experience right now. Uh, or, or, the, or one of the satellites, the moons. Moon or Minmus. We'll get that done. At the beginning of this episode, I said I was going to try to demonstrate some science farming as well. I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode. I try to keep these in bite-size pieces to make it easy to watch instead of having to do a marathon of videos before you play. So let's uh, let's call it a day here for Jeb and, and his buddies. And I will have another video that demonstrates making a makeshift rover that can go around the base and grab science from all these different places. Until then, fair travels.